I'm Anders Miltner, and my collaborators and I made the paper Bottom-Up Synthesis of Recursive Functional Programs Using Angelic Execution, or BURST. In this work, we wanted to synthesize programs where these programs could involve recursion, we wanted to be able to synthesize these programs from logical formulas, and we wanted to do so bottom-up. A key difficulty is that bottom-up synthesis requires evaluating the sub-expressions. Let's go in an example. Let's say I'm given the specification that I want to generate a function f where f of 1 is 2. I will now generate increasingly large programs with the intent of then combining them and getting something that returns 2. So one of the examples is I look at 0 and the result is just 0. 0 evaluates to 0. 1 similarly evaluates to 1. Now if we do x, we get that x also evaluates to 1 because we're talking about how f acts on 1. So then I can combine some of these with a plus and I get x plus 1 is 2 and I'm done. But what we, should we do if the sub-expression involves recursion? As before, we have 0 goes to 0, but now let's say I'm making a recursive call on that 0. What should the result be? We don't actually know, and this highlights the key difficulty. We cannot actually evaluate a recursive call without knowing the full function. But that's actually only true for using standard semantics. So our approach is just let's not use standard semantics. This brings us to our notion of angelic execution. In standard semantics, we have E big steps to V to say that E evaluates to V. In angelic semantics, we parameterize this with V, which saying that says that expression E angelically evaluates to V under V. Now, what we do is we change the recursive call uh, semantics, where before we had fixed points and things like that, now we have um, that E, that basically we need the recursive call to be consistent with this specification. So if it's the case that the recursive call is consistent while returning some V prime, we can return that V prime. So now that we have angelic semantics, let's talk about angelic satisfaction. F models phi is the standard way of saying that F satisfies phi using standard semantics. So now we parameter or we add in this new thing, which is F angelically models phi. So it's saying that F satisfies phi using angelic semantics uh, under phi. And we have a theorem that phi, uh, that angelic satisfaction over approximates standard satisfaction. So this brings us to our high level algorithm. We have this phi, and then we synthesize something that angelically satisfies phi. That's this f. Now, this is angelic satisfaction is an over approximation, so we want to be able to make sure that it's correct. So we look at the assumptions that that f makes that it doesn't necessarily hold itself. And then we look at those and we reintegrate that into the specification to make another synthesis call. And then we continue this loop for a while. Now we might have actually made some poor assumptions, so at some point we may need to backtrack. So we continue this uh, process of popping candidates, looking at their assumptions and backtracking until eventually we get a function that makes no assumptions that doesn't satisfy. In this case, f uh, satisfies phi using standard semantics and we just return that f. We evaluated on a, the Smith and Myth benchmark suite, augmented with a variety of specifications. So where those benchmark suites previously only had um, input-output examples, we added in different types of specifications like uh, equivalences, so generate an equivalent function to a provided one, and logical formulas. Um, we ran these benchmarks for two minutes. We compared against some prior work like Smith, Leon, and Syncred. On these graphs, the x-axis is time and the y-axis is the benchmarks completed. Higher is better. We find that Burst performs as well as or better than prior work on our benchmark suite. So in conclusion, we synthesize recursive functions bottom up, we permit logical specifications, we can evaluate sub-expressions using our angelic semantics, and we perform comparably to or better than prior work. Watch our full talk or read our paper.